Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to prepare simplex table 3 for the problem which we are following through simplex method. For your ready reference, we have I have already written the first two tables here also. And again, let us recap that in the first table there was a tie in minimum ratio of row 2 and row 3. And here I selected row 2 and I have already suggested you to do this sum again in your notebooks by selecting row 3 that will be a very good practice for you and what happens in on the different path that will also be interesting for you <clears throat> and you will come to know if we select other row what happens it will be a nice experience now let us prepare simplex table 3 in table 2 Row 4, R4 has become the outgoing or replaced replacement or key row. So, in the next table, let us first prepare R7. For R7 being a replacement row, the formula will be old row R4 divided by the key element 2 by 3. So, ultimately it will be 3 by 2 into R4. Division by 2 by 3 is equivalent to multiplication by 3 by 2. So, we are going to multiply R4 by 3 by 2 ultimately. 0 into anything is 0. 2 by 3 into 3 by 2, 1. 1 into 3 by 2, 3 by 2. Minus 4 by 3 into 3 by 2, 3, 3 cancel and minus 4 by 2 it is minus 2. 0 into 3 by 2 is 0, 4 into 3 by 2, 4 into 3, 12 by 2, 6, the same, yes. Now we will prepare row 8 and for the rows other than the key row, the formula is old row, R5, minus sign, the element in the key column in the same row, 1 by 3 into the replaced row R7. So, R5 minus one third of R7 will give us the row number 8. <clears throat> Here, row 5 is 1 minus one third into R7, 0. So, 1 minus 0 is 1. Here, row 5 is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 into R7, 1 by 3 again, and that is. 0. R5 here is 0 minus 2 by 3, sorry, 1 third into row 7, that is 3 by 2, minus 1 by 3 into 3 by 2, 3, 3 cancel, then minus 1 by 2 is there, minus 1 by 2, so ultimately it is 0 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 2. R5 here is <coughs> 1 by 3 minus sign 1 by 3 R5 minus sign again 1 by 3 into minus 2 1 by 3 into minus 2 is minus 2 by 3 so ultimately it is 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 so it comes to 1 now R5 here is 0 minus sign 1 by 3 into R7, it is again 0, so 0 as it is. R5 here is 3, minus sign according to formula. 1 by 3 into R7, 1 by 3 into R7 means 6, 1 third of 6 is 2, so it comes to 1. Now it is turn of R9, R9 will take place of R6. Old row R6 minus sign the element in the same row but in the key column minus 2 into minus 2 into replaced row R7. So ultimately it is R6 plus 2 R7. 
because minus sign according to formula minus 2 has been taken from here into r7 minus into minus plus so it is plus 2 r7 if we are not going to do in this format we have to follow these two signs r6 minus minus 2 r7 r6 minus minus 2 r7 in that way also we can do the thing now what is ultimately r6 it is 0 here and 0 plus 2 r7 0 plus 0 it is 0 here it is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 r7 is 2 into 1 2 it is 0 <coughs> r6 here is 0 plus sign 2 r7 means 2 into 3 by 7 2 2 cancel so it is 3 3 here r6 for this cell is minus 1 plus sign 2 into r7 2 into minus 2 minus 4 so ultimately it is minus 5 r6 for this cell is 1 plus sign according to this step plus 2 into r7 2 into 0 0 so it is 1 r6 here is 6 plus according to this step 2 into r7 2 into 6 12 so it is 18 now first we will have to write the variables since R4 was key row, we have to change its variable. S1 will be dropped and against it place, the variable of key column will be there, that is X2. So first will be now X2, no change in other two columns, X1 and S3 will be there as they were in the second table. Now respective CJ values for X2 it is 2. For x1 it is 5, for s3 it is 0. Now only we can write zj value. 2 into 0, 0. 5 into 1, 5. 0 into 0, 0. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 into 1, 2. Plus 5 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 2 into 2 by 2 into 3 by 2 is 3. 5 into 1 by 2 is 5 by 2, 0 into 3 is 0, so it is ultimately 3 plus 5 by 2, it will be 11 by 2. Similarly, 2 into minus 2 minus 4, 5 into 1, 5 minus 4 plus 5, 0 into minus 5, 0, minus 4 in plus 5 plus 1. Plus 0 is plus 1. 2 into 0, 0. 5 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 2 into 6, 12. 5 into 1, 5. 0 into 18, 0. 12 plus 5, 17. Now it is turn of delta j. That is cj minus zj. cj 5 minus 5, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. 0 minus 11 by 2, minus 11 by 2. 0 minus 1 minus 1 and 0 minus 0 0 we can see that all the delta values are 0 or negative since this is a maximization problem and all delta values are 0 or negative this is the optimal solution of the problem selected by us and what is the optimal solution the optimal solution of this problem is x1 equals to 1, x2 equals to 6 and maximum z is 17. This is the optimal solution of this problem. I repeat we had selected row 2 where there, were, there was a tie between the two replacement ratios. 
we can also move forward by adapting or by selecting row 3 I again suggest you to do this sum in your notebook by selecting third row in the first table thank you very much